When's the last time we had one? Mukbangers Pro Move, a fresh, hot, light sauce, cheese and pepperoni, pizza pie from none other than Pizza Hut. Puffy clouds living on a dream. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. When's the last time we had one? I don't know, but I'll tell you what, I'm more than jazzed for this. Too hot to trot, just hit the door, slid it out. We got Runny Ranch and we got a couple chinis on deck and i'll tell you what this guy right here this is the piece that resists dance and i want to get this as fresh and hot as we possibly can so i am just ready to have some cringy cravey bites and smush some pieces right off top because that's just what's gotta happen all right here it is ready to just a smash an extra saucy cringy couple cringy cravy bites to kick this video off here we go oh wow it's been too long between you and i Drippy Runny Ranch. Wow. How long has it truly been? I don't know. Honestly, a good while. the magic of the crispy pepperoni the herbs in their sauce the puffy cloud like dough That cartoon-esque ooze with a pepperoncini bite. just results in an absolute crave. A fatal flaw. Being left with a lot of dough. Still all good though. Dough. Guns. Nothing but guns. So I'll have y'all know, I went to a seafood boil this weekend. <laughs> Not something you would normally find me at, but my uncle had a family dinner at his lake property and he did his version of a boil shrimp two types of sausage potato corn and like onions in there with a whole whack of bay and lemons Old Bay Lemons. He didn't have any like a 
of that seasoned butter sauce on the side. Which I feel like if there was... I see the reason for having that. Because you need something now. To drag all that stuff through after. For the extra flavor, right? So we missed the mark on that. And I guess the only thing seafood about it was shrimp, which is something I'll eat. So I ate the whole, like I tried the whole thing. But where I'm at, can't get loads of crawfish or crawdads. Although our lake does have them hiding under rocks. And we used to hunt for them at night. When we were kids, I don't know that they're the same type as down south, but they're similar. There's like little, mini lobster looking guys. But they are few and far between. However, that night we were blessed with the northern lights. They came out to dance and put on a show, all green. Very cool in real life. kind of my favorite pieces secretly but yeah i've lived here like my whole life right but a bunch of years away actually but still always come home in summer for a visit and end up on the lake but i'm pretty sure that's the first time i've ever seen them in person the aurora borealis so I don't have any vivid memories I've ever seen them before. So I divergenize myself to the Northern Lights. And they were very cool. Now I'm going to say something that's going to rattle some people. The fantastical ones. House of Dragons. Have we all not had enough at this point of the same story? Of the same medieval O Doth were out there, art thou my good sir? Succession next of kin in line to the throne, the Iron Throne. <laughs> Release the dragon on my wicked, evil uncle, stepbrother, man, and then everybody fuck each other. Have we not had enough of this by now? Didn't we have all these seasons of Game of Thrones? I'll never understand the appeal of these shows. A, I just don't like the genre. <laughs> They're not my wheelhouse. I gave it a try. I looked at it. I was like, everybody's hyped. I was like, all right, let me see what this is. Just more Targaryens, more white-haired motherfuckers. Mixed with black guys with white hair, white dreads. Weren't white dreads like something you should never do? Unless you're like 75 or 80 year old Rastafarian and just rat naturally have grayish white dreads. 
But I don't understand the allure of these shows. It's like one of my parents took me in and my brothers to see Lord of the Rings when we were kids. And me and my one youngest brother, stepbrother, almost got ejected from the theater from just roasting what we were watching on, on screen. Making fun of everything. <laughs> we hated it. But everybody's going crazy for House of Dra House of the Dragon or whatever. This is funny. Suppose it's a slight, <laughs> it's just a slight variance of tales and things we've already seen and heard. Then again, so is this video. Just a slight variance of a hundred other videos I've made just like it. So, hypocritical. <laughs> Fuck my life. Why do people like what they like? I don't know. Not for me to decide. All I'm saying is Targaryen, not for me. These two pieces, gotta save because I got things to go do and I don't want to be too gutted on a whole medium. So we'll leave it at that. These get saved for a couple hours from now. And until uh, the next one, y'all know what to do. Watch whatever the fuck you want to watch, but I won't watch that shit and eat good, live well, stay true. Okay, bye.